step in my dojo, you step, 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 step. Step in my dojo, you step in my. The most of the heavy lifting in the track is done by this one drum kit. A lot of people will just continuously ignore drum sound design for like, you know, huge portions of their career. And they'll wonder why, why their music isn't like hitting people right, you know? And it's like, we don't want to hear you play someone else's beat. You know, we want to hear your you know, once you know how to make them, and you understand that it's easy, because it is easy once you do the course, then your tracks are going to be so much more expressive, and they're going to have a real authentic texture that is undeniably yours, where you can speak and express yourself through the drums. Okay, so now let's go into this drum rack. So I made this drum rack, and here, actually, I'm going to turn my latency down and just see if I can play. I'll turn the latency down to 32. I'll just see if I can play. Yeah, so I made a crash. And then a hi-hat, which is when you hold it, or when you press a long note, it's short hat. When you tap it, it's a long, it's an open hat. So here's short hat, and then and then oh, that's the hi hat. Sorry. Yeah, this is a shaker. So shaker is like a hi hat, but pretty much, but the noise envelope has a long attack. And then it's a lot more like playing a real hi hat that way, like press and hold to hold for a short note, and then open, 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 close, open, close, right? And then there's this ride, and then I made a quick kick, I made a quick 808, I made a quick snare, press it lightly for short, hold it down hard, go long. And then there's this clap. Right? So you can be like. Oh. Oh, it's too it's too hard to play with the latency. I thought it would be too hard, so I made some clips. So here's a clip of me finger drumming and listen to, you know, listen to the way the velocity and the note lengths are affecting the drums. Like your ear hears that and right away, you know that that's not just like a bunch of samples in the range window. Like you can really clearly hear that the white noise is real white noise. It's never repeating. Um, and that there's all this kind of velocity sensitivity going on and all this like, you know, the sounds are really different. It's like 